On some of my latest videos, I have been uh, doing videos on one for Israel, which is uh, the Jews uh, for Jesus uh, that live in Israel and around Israel. And they have a, a Bible college where they teach Christianity, the gospel. But one of the things that, the, the reasons why I make the video is because they're also Trinitarian. And they're teaching that the Trinity is biblical when it is not. As many of you know, my channel is dedicated to teaching that the Trinity was made up or given to us by a first century Jewish Greek philosopher, Philo of Alexandria. And Philo of Alexandria was a Jew that betrayed his origins. He betrayed his religion, his religious roots, by teaching because he had this mystical experience where a voice, he says his own voice told him that with God there were two other pri primary and supreme powers. And from there he sought to reconcile that uh, mystery or that revelation with the Hebrew scriptures. And he allegorized the scriptures to make them fit his mystical experience. And many, uh, well, the Jews rejected him immediately during his time. But then there were those Jews who are always, you know, not following after the Lord, not following the, the, the scriptures, and getting into other things like mysticism and um, the Kabbalah and so forth. All of these things are not right. God didn't give us those things. Those things crept into the religion, the Jewish religion. But now, and some of the Jews start teaching on the two powers of heaven, the two powers in heaven and so forth. But after a while, the Jews, the real Jews that follow the scriptures, rejected that notion also. But now today we have this Jews for Jesus who are teaching that the Trinity is part of the gospel, not even realizing that they're promoting a Roman Catholic dogma. If they would only do the legwork and study and go back into history and study, instead of just believing those uh, teachers, professors that teach them this thing. So I made this video on uh, One for Israel and I mentioned the, the two Jewish, uh, the dean of, of the college and, and a professor, and I mentioned them. And I also recorded them where they're talking about a certain Dr. Benjamin Summer. I also made a video on a Dr. Al Garza. Who has written books, especially one on the Trinity, where he teaches that the Trinity is revealed in Genesis 18. And to me, that's the most ridiculous thing ever. I never thought anybody would do such a thing. Because that teaching comes from, again, Philo of Alexandria, first century, who allegorized the scriptures and made Genesis 18 to mean that it was not just God and two angels, like the text says, but that it was God and his two supreme and primary powers. And because they were they appeared as men, they call them persons, three persons. And Philo writes in his book that there were three persons that appeared, divine persons that appeared unto Abraham. Thus, the Trinity, the modern Trinity of three persons. And, and, and interesting that Dr. El Garza, I, we communicated back and forth through comments on, on YouTube. And of course he defended himself and so forth. And I told him that I really thought he was wrong. But he kept telling me that he was educated and I was not. Okay, that was his defense. But nonetheless, I, I told him that he was teaching the false teachings of Philo of Alexandria. And after a while, uh, I, I, my last comment to Dr. El Garza was, um, there is no one that believes like you. No Trinitarian scholar or, or apologist that believes like you. I said, I looked up Dr. Um, Michael Brown, and he doesn't believe that Genesis 18 is a trinity. I looked up James White, and he doesn't believe that Genesis 18 is a trinity. And so I kept going down the line, and I never found anybody that believes like Dr. Al Garza. And so I told him so. So Dr. Al Garza gave me Guess who? Dr. What? Benjamin Summer. 
to say that ben, Dr. Benjamin Summer believed like him. And he was a, a wonderful uh, Jewish scholar. And, and yes, I read some of his uh, background. And he went to the top of the line universities and scored high and very intelligent man. So I wanted to know what he was teaching since he's a Jew and is not a Trinitarian. So because Dr. L. Garza pushed me to this, I started looking at, at, at his writings. And I'm going to give you a short clip in a minute. But Dr. Uh, uh, Benjamin Summer does not believe in the Trinity. And he does not believe that the Trinity is revealed in uh, Genesis 18. He says there's a probability that some of that could have been. But he says no, it could also have been God and two humans that came to Abraham. And on and on and on. But Dr. Um, Summer does not believe that it was a trinity. So I go back to Dr. Al Garza and I, and I tell him, why did you tell me that this man believed like you when he does not? And he just went off and told me things and then that was the end of it. And, and so as I, I listened to some of uh, the tapes on Dr. Benjamin uh, Summer, I realized that he not only is not a Trinitarian, but that he's got the doctrine of the Trinity wrong. And you're going to see it right now. And then uh, I'll close with my remarks. We see this coming up in the doctrine, the post-New Testament doctrine of the Trinity. The Trinity, the idea of the Trinity really doesn't occur in the New Testament, but it occurs, it occurs in early Christianity very soon afterwards. And we Jews have always tended to sort of make fun of the Trinity. Oh, how can there be three that is one? Um, if they've got this three-part God, even if they call it a triune God, a, a God that is three yet one, really, really they're pagans. They're not real monotheists like we Jews are or like the Muslims are. Those Christians are really pagan. But I think that what we're seeing from what I've been saying uh, in the past couple days is that you know, the idea of the Trinity, that there is this one God who manifests itself in three different ways, that's actually an old ancient Near Eastern idea that can function in a polytheistic context, as it did for the Babylonians and the Canaanites, but it can also function in a monotheistic context, um, as it does, I think, in the J and the E texts and some of the other texts that we were looking at. Did you catch that? The definition of the Trinity that Dr. Benjamin Sommer gave. Well, that's not the definition of the Trinity. The Trinity has nothing to do with manifestations, but it, it, it's that God is three persons who are co-equal and co-eternal, you know, existing one, side, one along each other. He says that this is God who manifested in three forms. This is not the Trinity. This is what we call monotheism and we call it monarchianism we call it the oneness of god in the bible exactly what i and many people believe so dr benjamin summer is highly educated and his studies his research tells us that god appears in a multiplicity of ways not in a triunity